Marriage is all about trust, am I right? Spouses trust spouses on matters as big as love itself and as small as our morning lemonade. Jack Chen used to trust his spouse with his lemonade and everything else, but a while back he started feeling sick and he had a strange chemical taste in his mouth. So he set up a nanny cam in the kitchen in their Irvine, California home, and this is what he found. That appears to be Chen's wife, Dr. Emily Yu. She is a dermatologist, and that is seemingly her caught on camera with a bottle of Drano, and it sure looks a lot like she's pouring it into her husband's lemonade. Chen set up the camera three different times in three successive weeks and says he saw the same thing each time. Last week, Dr. Yu was arrested, and she was released. She says she's innocent, and uh, while behind bars, though, being held that day, she was served with divorce papers and a restraining order. I'm joined now by, but I'm not, I'm joined now by Steve Hittleman, and he is the attorney for Dr. Yu's husband, Jack Chen. So, Steve, thank you for joining me. What on earth happened to this uh, couple? They were married 10 years, and now there's allegations of attempted murder by Drano. Uh, thank you for having me. And it is a marriage that had a long history of domestic violence in it the last several years. Uh, but this event is extraordinary by any stretch of the imagination. So I, I saw the screen grabs, right, of uh, what it purports to be video that your client took. But why can't I see the video itself? Like, is that something? Well, let me know why I can't see video and I'm only seeing still shots. We are cooperating with the Irvine, uh, the city of Irvine Police Department and the Orange County District Attorney's Office. We've requested that we not make the video publicly available yet. Uh, the Orange County District Attorney's Office has not yet filed charges against Dr. Yu. She has only been uh, arrested and then, as you said earlier, released on the suspicion of poisoning. Okay, so if I were a defense attorney, which I am you know, clearly not, um, I would say something like, well, it's a container. Um, I myself have used a Windex bottle and I've had water in it. How do we know that it was actually Drano that was in that orange container that says Drano? Well, again, this is a, a video that on three separate occasions, Dr. Chen was able to capture his wife methodically going under the kitchen counter, getting the bottle of Drano out of the sink, walking over to his cup, and putting a dose of Drano. This is not a fatal dose. She was putting enough of it over time that he developed the symptoms he was he got diagnosed with earlier this summer. So he became suspicious after that diagnosis, set up the camera. Uh, ironically enough, the first camera shot he was not comfortable with because it only showed uh, there was a cutting board in the way. So it only showed her pouring the Drano into something. On so, July, that was uh, on July 18th. The second time he captured her on video is the one where you see him before administering the dose. He takes a sip from his, he'll call it his morning tea. He puts saran wrap over that cup and left the room. And a couple of minutes later, that that image you're showing right now, he puts that cup down. He is there showing covering it with saran wrap. And after he left the room, she walked over uncovered the saran wrap, poured in the Drano, put the saran wrap back on top, put the Drano back under the sink and sat back down at the table as though nothing had happened. Well, it's very, very disturbing. And again, we should reiterate that she's not charged. Uh, and so uh, at this point, these are allegations. I certainly can't corroborate them, but that is a very disturbing set of still images. Steve Hittleman, I hope you'll stay with us on it and keep us posted on the story. Thanks for doing this tonight. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.